YouTube, YouTube, what it do, man? You know the motto, if you can, homie, go over there, hit the like, which is the thumbs up, and that'll let me know I'm kicking my stuff, homie. This one right here, somebody DM'd me through my Instagram social media thing, and uh, they wanted to know, like, on a gang street level, how do a lot of dudes become hardcore or put themselves on the levels of being hardcore because no one was just born straight out hardcore in the street level. You know, it had to be things you had to learn, challenges, you know, obstacles and all that to land people in these positions. I mean, and I felt like that was a hell of a topic, homie. That's a hell of a topic, homie. You know what I'm saying? To kind of like dig into a little bit. Because I know in my career of this shit, you know what I'm saying? I would have to shout out homies or give certain homies they props that was helping me build this B-Dog character, this B-Dog lifestyle character that I pushed, homie, since I was young, homie. You know what I'm saying? This shit wasn't easy, homie. You know, and, and some and, and in the making of some of us, it will be outside influences from 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 other blood hoods. You know what I'm saying? Helping certain niggas build their style up to be hardcore, to be solid, homie. Along with if if niggas is cripping, it was other crips that niggas looked up to or told them how to carry themselves and, you know, sent them niggas in the lines then to become different motherfuckers. We all had people that built our styles, homie, and our characters, homie. And and coming up, you know, young in my B Dog time, niggas really want tearing, you know, homies would be, you know, when we was juvenile jelling, we really want cause that's where it started at. Juvenile jelling, we really want tearing. You know, if a nigga tried to be down and had a little heart, homies want tearing one another down because it was, if a homie wasn't standing or carrying himself right, that shit represented all of us, homie. So, so, so homies was into like building the motherfucker, making a nigga, if the homie seen it in you and you could still be strengthened. Homies are strengthening you back then, homie. You know, it wasn't to be like, oh, this nigga did some buster shit, or this nigga's a buster, or this. It was about, nah, blood, go back in there and chunk them. Or nigga, don't let these niggas get at you like this. Or these niggas tripping about, you got all this disrespectful shit tatted on you. Nigga, fuck them niggas. Nigga, don't make no accommodations, because they, they wouldn't do it for us. All this shit helped build niggas' characters and niggas' styles and shit, homie. And, 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 and back then, you know, like I said, again, where it all started in juvenile jelly, you had homies that were seasons from different parts of the community and section, homie. And so, so you know, sometimes, you know, and I was just fortunate enough to have homies that, that I kind of like juvenile jail with and was around that, that cared about certain homies, dog. You know what I'm saying? I can name one, like a little creek creek from Athens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 B.I.P. You know what I'm saying? He was one of them homies, dog. You know, like, like I say, nigga went running to the homies like, oh, dog, I'm having an issue and this, this and that. But these, these homies that when one side of a, a juvenile jail inside, the other side, when these two units come together and we finally get the chance, homies might be on different sides. We get a chance to hang out or chop it up with each other. You know, homies that you know, had a senior, seniority type push, you know, because like I said, homies were seasoned from different communities, you know, so certain homies had different pushes, you know, some of us was just coming on, you know, on these blood hoods and shit, and we was going in, and we was getting shaped and formed, and like I said, I was just fortunate where certain homies would come and be like, you know, when we niggas of these units that come together, niggas would be like, hey, half, what's up with you, homie? Or you straight over there because I was a small nigga, you know, and I tell a homie, like, I'm good over here, or I had, you know, I've been getting into it with these niggas over there, and the homies wouldn't look at a nigga like the homies were soft. Niggas was like, well, if I, well, sometimes we have seen each other at picnics or young, coming up before juvenile jailing, and niggas would look at it like, nigga, I go over there and push for the homie, or I stick up for the homie. So, it was homies like this, <clears throat> Like a little creek creek that, you know, was able to, you know, help it, help niggas push. Because, like I say, when I, I had fell out with some Raymonds and shit, 
And the, and, and the homie asked me, like, you straight over there? What's going on? Nigga said you got... And like I said, I wasn't running and tell no homies. But by him asking me, I told him. And the homie went over there, talked to the run Because he was from Athens. He know them dudes like that. Cause they didn't bang. Then they juvenile street time. And the homie, you know, knew them dudes and went over there in politic. And them dudes came back. And was like, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all good and shit. Because they didn't have they run-ins and shit. You know, and I, and you know, it was homies from Swans. I can't remember their name, but you know, just gave it, gave niggas these extra pushes to different beat dogs I seen and shit coming up. Uh, 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 the homeboy hang out from CPB, solid homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Kept a nigga blood and intact. And these was niggas that we needed, that was more seasoned than us. The the, the, the get at us and tell us, like, nigga, don't do this. Don't do that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This how we do it, nigga. You know, don't make no accommodations. This, this, and that. This how you push. And, you know, I can just name certain homies that we all shaped. They helped shape us. We shaped each other. And we was able to carry this tradition on, homie, to make motherfuckers. And, and at that time, homie, you going through so much shit, it'll build your character. It's like motherfuckers that was racial against black people or blacks against whites or however this shit would go. That's how your mentality will build up with this cripping and blood when you was coming up young, homie. It drew, you know, them dudes was heavy on us, so it drew a heavy animosity towards us, towards them dudes, homie. You know what I'm saying? So that's how a lot of, you know, dudes was being shaped to be hardcore. That's even on the street. You might be catch a homie that won that super active but once he got with a crew of niggas he became super active homie and sometimes some of these dudes that help shape a lot of dudes careers rather than blood hood crip hoods essay hoods asian gang hoods or all these little gang hoods you had dudes that help shape dudes homie you know what i'm saying and sometimes these dudes that take downfalls and they times or take jail times and different little shit out their lives. And some of the dudes that they help mold it and shape, we we uh, exceed them dudes, homie. You know, these dudes that get out of jail from 10 years or had to go out of town due to some gangster shit or different kind of shit, homie. And these dudes that come back that they help shape, shape and mold or we be these dudes little homies. Then they come back, homie, and we got these big old characters, and these dudes sit back, and it's like, damn, I remember I helped do this. I remember help do this. So niggas should pay homage and contribution to niggas that help shape a lot of niggas' gangster careers, homie, because a lot of niggas didn't just come up off the porch like this. We had to be shaped, homie. That's like jailing niggas, showing you the rules, this, this, and that, like I say. And that's what, and then going through these, these artists, you know, scrimmages and shit, it build a nigga a character to know how to politic, you know, know how you know, squabbling ain't fair, so you dope fiending some niggas, you tripping on niggas, and it, it builds, you know, from fucking with these gangster homies and seeing how they move, you would you learn how to move with your character and your style that not you can't compare to these dudes but you know how to adopt they adopt they uh methods up out their toolkit to carry yourself and learn how to present yourself like a soldier homie so i just wanted to i just want to take this time and shout out the homeboys homie that helped mold homies or help mold me you know what I'm saying? Or we, like I say, and we molded each other. I know homies from, like the Primo from Blackstone, me and him, Juvenile Jail, Fiji from Mafia, Lil Insane from the 20s, uh, 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 the homie Bisco from Brims, homie. You know what I'm saying? Murder Rock from Brims, homie. You know, if the list can kind of go on, homie, a different homies that we all, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, pay homage to or help you know, shape each other careers in this gangster shit, homie. So 89 on up, you know what I'm saying? G shit, no ye shit, and I'm just serving content, homie, on just, you know, shit that niggas don't touch. That's real, homie. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to all the homies, like, once again, like I said, that helped mold a lot of motherfuckers, homie. We may, I may have seeded niggas, but don't think we forget about you niggas that helped make a nigga survive this B thing and get a nigga to where he at today. I'm out.